This is project four, video number one, the pencil and paper part. Has to write a function, and uh, let's see what we got. It's uh, you get a string of text and a value. String of text says uh, it's a wavelength or a frequency. The value is, and then uh, the next one is uh, the wavelength or the frequency. And we're supposed to be very flexible on the spelling of. Uh, the first argument, the string of text, which is either wavelength or frequency, basically. All right, so uh, if we're given the frequency, we have to cal calculate the wavelength, and if we're given the wavelength, we have to calculate the frequency. So as far as the algebraic solution, we have to go back to uh, the first semester where we found the speed of a wave is equal to the product of its wavelength and its frequency. Um, and uh, that, that goes for any wave, wave including light, but in the case of uh, for electromagnetic radiation for light, EM radiation, where I'm using the expression light to mean all electromagnetic radiation and uh, we'll single out the part to which our eyes is, uh, is sensitive by calling it uh, visible light. So light is radio waves, x-rays, everything and uh, the part our eyes is, uh, the, the kind of light to which our eyes are sensitive is referred to as visible light. So for any kind of electromagnetic radiation the uh, speed of the wave is equal to C so we have C is equal to lambda F. Uh, solve that for lambda for the case where we're given the frequency. C over F. That'd be uh, one of the equations that we need. And uh, solve the same equation for um, F uh, for the case where uh, the wavelength is given and we got F is equal to C over lambda. So that's our whole algebraic solution. There were no pictures required. Um, we got, uh, it's time to, to make up uh, the code outline, to create a code outline, to put down the ideas that we're going to implement in programming it up. So uh, it's a function that takes uh, the two arguments. I'm going to call it uh, Oh, what uh, physical, the physical quantity that we're looking for. So we, I could call the wavelength and the frequency uh, physical quantities. Um, I think uh, uh, let's see. I'm trying to cook up uh, reasonable names for it. If I cook up lousy names for it. I, I tend to find them come back at me. I, I, I'm hoping that you can come up with a, a better name. Uh, this just displays stuff so uh, it doesn't return anything. So I'll tell the reader that it doesn't return anything by using the name for my return variable that suggests it's not really being used. So you could call it uh, no return variable. Uh, I'm calling it dummy. And then this is uh, show uh, EM radiation info and uh, gonna come up with a name for this uh, first variable that's what I was trying to think of it's it's the name of the physical quantity um, I think I'll call it uh, V name for variable name. So uh, it's either wavelength or frequency. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. V name. It'd be like A for acceleration. The name of the variable would be A. So uh, I think we're going to call it uh, wave feature name. So I don't really like uh, big, long variable names, but I also won't 
people like it to be self-documented. Wave feature name and then I think I'll call this one wave feature value. Feature so wave feature, wavelength or frequency and uh, wave feature name would be one of those two. The wave feature value would be the number of meters that the wavelength is or the number of uh, hertz that the frequency is. Value. Alright, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and initialize C and uh, I tend to use 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second but I don't think there's any reason to throw in any uh, unnecessary uncertainty or uh, error so I'm going to search on uh, speed of light speed of light Speed of light Wikipedia. It's an exact value as opposed to an opinion, so you probably got that. I think let me put my attribution in first. Um, yeah, actually, I think I'll write uh, just a little bit of my code here. So, pardon me while I uh, start up. Octave and I'll go edit just so I uh, don't forget to give credit where credit is due. So I'm going to call this uh, well, it was function dummy equals. I know this is supposed to be the pencil and paper part, but I don't want to forget to give the attribution. Dummy equals, um, what did I say? Show EM red info, electromagnetic radiation information, and this was a uh, wave feature. Could have got a wave property uh, name. Comma wave feature value. End, and I think I'll put it right before the end. Um, uh, percent, I think I'll try it like. Uh, this for a big block and percent and uh, I want to say uh, attribution uh, one I'm going to use uh, Let's go to that site. Uh, control C. Uh, and uh, value of speed of light from two zero one seven wiki. Um, I'll call it speed of light Wikipedia article and at So, we'll 
will say that, and despite the fact that uh, I'm still doing the uh, pencil and paper part. Get a little bit of the code done. Oops. Uh, back up one. 132 projects. Project 4. Um, my code. And uh, I gotta save it as show em rad info. Show em rad info because that's the name that I use for the function. All right, let's get back to uh, just so write it up. So c equals, and according to that website, c equal to two ninety nine seven nine two four five eight seven nine two four five eight. Seven nine two four five eight and it was two uh ninety nine two point nine nine seven nine two four five eight. Let's make sure I got that. Two oh that's why the spacing there. I'll leave it like that, just the way they had it. And go ahead and erase that decimal point. So group those a little bit better. Two nine nine three digits all together. The uh, modern international way of writing numbers is a space uh, between sets of three digits, no comma. Uh, in some countries they use a period. Some comma in our country we tend to use a comma. Better not to use either so nobody gets confused. Um, and then this is meters per second. Uh, so I'll initialize that value. I've got the uh, wave feature handed to me. And this is, uh, I'm, I'm supposed to take just about anything beginning in uh, spaces or tabs followed by WAV and then more stuff. So uh, I'll, I'll go uh, uh, for uh, uh, wave feature name. I want to, um, I'll put it in something else. Uh, put it that, that I can mess with. You shouldn't be messing with uh, input variables. You shouldn't change input variables, in other words. Um, I'll call it WF name. Um, I want to remove leading white space um, convert to lowercase. I think that'll do nothing if it's already all lowercase. But if it's a mix, then I want to convert it to lowercase, all small letters. And then um, truncate it. Uh, it to uh, three characters. So wave feature name is going to contain a string. Uh, ideally, it'll be just a wavelength. Um, it could be double quotes, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, or or frequency. But uh, the deal is, for instance, if it happens to be wavelength, 
then uh, we store it there and then while it's in there we, we're messing with WF name remove the leading white space well this has no leading white space so it would leave it alone convert to lowercase this is all lowercase so it would leave it alone then truncate it to three uh, uh, characters this would change it to just WAV uh, in quotes so I think I think we got that covered and then uh, I'd say if uh, wave, oops, uh, wave feature name, WF name at this stage is equal to uh, WAV. Then uh, what we got to do is uh, calculate. Um, that means we have the wavelength, so we got to calculate the uh, frequency. So calculate. I, I think I'll just say uh, maybe wavelength. I think I'll say lambda equals uh, wave feature value because the wave feature value holds a wavelength if it's a WAV and I'm going to stick it in lambda a symbol that we use in physics to represent a wavelength and frequency equals um, I think it was C divided by lambda C over lambda F equals C over lambda um, and then uh, I think we'll call uh, another function uh, function um, I think uh, show info um, that's pretty much what we're doing here um, show EM radiation info. Um, I think I'll go show info. Um, lambda. I think I should have just called that. Oh, lambda comma F. I think in here where I'm just explaining what I'm doing, I'd rather just work with the symbol lambda. Then we'll have to cook up a corresponding name. Lambda. So that was WF name up there. Cut off the bottom of that W. There we go. Lambda equals, looks like I cut off the bottom of that one too. Alright. C over lambda. Call function show info of lambda and f where that one it has the values of lambda and f and I'm gonna have to write that so that's gonna be um, a subroutine I call it a sub function so this is the main function that we're working on and it causes a sub function to do a little bit of the work alright so uh, that's one of them and then else if if uh, WF name is equal to 
FRE by that time, by the time we make it so that it's just the first three uh, non-blank characters, uh, sequential non-blank characters. Then in this case, the frequency is equal to wave feature value, because that's what's stored in there. And the wavelength is C over F, and then uh, call sub function show info of lambda comma F. And and that ends the function. I think that, that covers that one. And then uh, it's a bit of an outline. I don't know that I'll do it exactly that way, but it, it shows all the ideas of what I want to do. And then function um, this one does return nothing as well. So I'll go dummy. All it does, it's the one that actually prints information out. Dummy equals show info of lambda comma f. Um, display or print, print to the screen. Uh, lambda and uh, F and then uh, we got to say what kind it is. So I think it's time to uh, look up the chart here. I'll, I'll put these. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I'll include that in there. I, I could just say, sh say what kind it is and then have to figure that out when I code it up, but I think I'll I'll look in there. So we're supposed to look under Microwave, uh, the uh, Wikipedia article entitled Microwave. And uh, yeah, this isn't looking good. So maybe it's Microwaves. Microwave, Wikipedia. Did I go by that one? It it's got no S on the end of it. All right. So, all right. Here's the table that I wanted you to use. So, um, all right. Let's see if I can put that where I can see that at the same time that I'm writing. So I think we can go more or less strictly by. All right, I lost it. There it is. Does that go down? Well, it changes the line spacing, I guess. All right, that's not working for me. I guess I better keep it about that big. And slide this over. And make sure we can see that part. Yeah, actually, I can make it so. We got just what we need there. And then see if it goes away when I uh, click on that. It does, so let's see if I can make it reappear. All right, so we got Print lambda f, and then uh, if uh, lambda is less than 
lambda is less than 0.02 nanometers. Uh, print. I think I'll move that over a little bit. Print gamma. Gamma rays. Gamma radiation. Well, uh, let's see what I feel like print when I actually do it, but something in, in the ballpark of that. If lambda is between, oh, wait a second, 0.01 and 0 0.01, uh, I think I'm going to change that. So we see in the table we've got an overlap. So if it's less than 0 0.01, um, then with that, if uh, lambda is less than 0 0.02 nanometers, uh, but greater than or equal to 0 0.01 nanometers, uh, print uh, it's a mix. Uh, it, it falls within the overlap region. Maybe I should put it that way. So I'm not going to worry about how, exactly how I word it just now, but uh, overlap. It falls within the overlap region. Gamma. Uh, slash x-ray. This, uh, for that wavelength range, they tend to call it gamma rays if it's uh, given off by the nucleus of an atom, and x-rays if it's given off by uh, the transition of an electron uh, from one uh, energy level to another in the atom. So it's kind of the, the outside part of the atom. So it depends on where it's coming from. The name of it is dependent upon where it's coming from, uh, given that uh, it's the same frequency. And you can't even tell the difference, uh, you know, from a detector, uh, unless you got additional information. J but just just from the, the uh, electromagnetic radiation, you can't tell the difference. But that's uh, why the names overlap. Uh, and then, if it's a point, I'll say greater than or equal to. So greater than or equal to, uh, it'll go 0 0.02 nanometers. Up to for the x rays, oh, 390. No, uh, 10 nanometers. Uh, less than 10 nanometers. Um, looks like 10 nanometers gets, uh, uh, either one or the other, but I think I'll, uh, they have butt there, so I'll just call it one or the other. So, 10 nanometers, and I print, uh, x ray. And I just want to check, I didn't need to write that quite so far over there, but, uh, so gamma rays, and then, Overlap and then x rays. Um, I think I'll, I'll go with that. If theta is equal to 10 nanometers, I better put it down to the letter print uh, borderline. I call it border. Um, X-ray ultraviolet, according to that table. X-ray, uh, comma, ultraviolet. I'm afraid I'm going to forget to uh, print down the, where it comes from. Uh, print and. Um, all info, uh, from EM 
table. I think got an EM table, electromagnetic spectrum table, EM spectrum table in uh, 2017 version of Wikipedia. Uh, microwave article and uh, I think I'll, I'll try to grab the URL when I when I actually put it in there uh, I think I'll put uh, URL just to remind me to include that. And then hopefully I get enough room here. Two, three, four. I got quite a few left. I better write, uh, better pack it in there. From la if lambda is uh, greater than ten nanometers. Uh, 10 nanometers but less than let's see if alright less than 390 I'll say um, less than 390 nanometers print Ultraviolet um, if it's uh, three ninety up to seven fifty. Print visible. That's their uh, visible light. Um, so, oh no, we need uh, an overlap. So less than. Uh, 400 I think less than or equal to then uh, print uh, overlap UV visible All right, does that cover that? And then, uh, if it's greater than 400, less than, less than, not less than or equal, but strictly less than, 750 print what do we got um, visible and then if lambda is equal to 750 print borderline Uh, viz, comma, infrared. Viz for visible. And then, uh, 750. So I'm going to actually try to make a little space here.
All right, then lambda. is greater than 750 nanometers but less than uh, one millimeter print what do we got? infrared um, and then lambda equals one millimeter print border or borderline something like that I R and then microwave I think I'll put I'll write that out MW might stand for microwave but I'm not that familiar with it alright then uh, if it's right out Oh, wait a second. Uh, we got a little bit of overlap. Border microwave. Um, and radio. Um, let's go erase that. Radio um, it, what I'm interpreting this to mean is microwave is a subset of radio microwave is a subclass of radio, a particular kind of radio wave microwave radio waves so is what they're saying there so I'm gonna say uh, lambda um, so greater than a millimeter up to one meter less than or equal to one meter print uh, overlap uh, microwave since I already said it I think I'll I'll leave that there and radio I'll use the abbreviation and radio overlap alright and then uh, if lambda is greater Then one meter less than or equal to one hundred uh, thousand kilometers print radio and uh, lambda greater than one one two one two three kilometers I'm gonna call it at least according to this table so all will from, from there it's undefined it's not defined on that table uh, print undefined so I don't think anybody can detect anything greater than a hundred thousand kilometers but uh, maybe we shall maybe radio astronomers can but you need I don't know, something like uh, satellites on opposite sides of the earth something bigger than the earth maybe something on the moon and something on the earth uh, to uh, as two detectors working working together at a great separation so print undefined for greater than a hundred thousand kilometers that's kind of hard to read and I might actually want to be able to read that later on oh I think I'll leave that there and erase this and rewrite it
Uh, one hundred thousand kilometers. If it's greater than that, then we don't print anything. And let's say in earlier, we're not supposed to use commas as a separator there. But some people use the comma as the decimal point. Some countries do. So you should try to avoid the using it as a separator. So a, a comma or a period is a separator. And then the comma and the period can both serve as the decimal point. All right, so uh, I think that's got it. Uh, print all the information is from there. I think uh, I've got two functions. Um, one that caused the other. So the first one is my main function, and then uh, this is I'm calling it a, a sub function that I just called show info. And uh, I guess I better just try to make sure that I didn't leave anything out. So I'm going to go ahead and read that. Yeah, I think I've got it covered. So I'm going to call that the pencil on paper part. It was mostly about. Uh, that's too big. Mostly about writing up uh, the code. The algebra was trivial. Didn't even require a picture. Uh, and it, it was first semester stuff except for uh, the speed of light. And I did get that speed of light in there. Alright, so uh, my, my plan was I write one main function that uh, uh, calculates whatever the wave other wave feature is given one and then I call uh, one that's got both of them to actually print out or display the information so print this and then uh, print what type it is and I should try to make it look nice try to make the output look nice but uh, that'll come in video number two all right that's it